Welcome everybody. In today's video, we'll look at the meaning of continued fraction. So typically, a normal continued fraction starts with something like that. So please don't be confused too much about the complicated appearance of such a fraction. You should be able to solve it um, if you focus on the bottom right hand corner first of all. So for example, please look at this one. You can try to simplify it a little bit. I believe you know how to do it yourself. It's pretty simple um, fraction addition here. And the red box now becomes 7 over 2. And then, again the trick is that you need to focus on whatever happens in the bottom right hand corner. And obviously I believe you know how to uh, simplify this form. Um, it becomes 2 plus uh, 2 over 7 here. And the next step again, obviously you need to focus on um, the red box right here. I believe you know how to simplify to get 1 over 16 over 7. And obviously I believe you can tell me how to simplify it at the final step here. The answer is 7 over 16 as final answer. So now it basically means that 7 over 16 is actually the same as the um, original continued fraction here. Okay, so now the question for you is the following. I'm going to do the opposite direction. Do you know how to do it? Which basically means that I give you any fraction. Can you tell me how to write down the continued fraction appearance of any fraction here? So let's try an example first. So let's start with the fraction 13 over 24 here. And the first step I can tell you is that um, you need to flip the fraction. What do I mean by flip? Which means you need to write it down as 1 as the numerator. So now, if 1 is a numerator, the denominator becomes the flipped form of the original fraction. So it should be 1 over 24 over 13. And from here, you need to keep focusing on the uh, fraction on the bottom. So now, um, obviously this number is bigger than 1. So you need to take out the integral part if the fraction itself is bigger than 1 here. So now the integral part is 1, so you should be able to get 1 plus 11 over 13 here. Again, please focus on the bottom right hand corner. From this step, it's more like the inductive step that you need to follow all the previous steps. So now, when you get a fraction like that, again you need to flip it um, again. For this part, it becomes 1 plus 1 over 13 over 11. And please look at the bottom right um, fraction here, which is bigger than 1 here. Again, the same rule applies. You need to take out the integral part to get the following 1 over 1 plus 2 over 11. Essentially speaking, such a calculation needs to be stopped whenever you see that the bottom right fraction has um, 1 as a numerator. So um, this one, we cannot finish it right here because it's still not 1 as a numerator. So please f do it uh, one more step here to get the following. Again, um, I do, did a flip of this fraction because this fraction is smaller than 1, so you need to flip it anyway. So now please try to decompose this last fraction here. You should be able to get the following. So it should be your final answer because now you look at the bottom right fraction, the numerator has 1. And now we finish the calculation here. To make a conclusion, we basically say that the original fraction we look at 13 over 24 is the same as this continued fraction here. And to simplify the notation a little bit, most people they focus on um, the coefficients right here. Now basically there are four coefficients, they are 1, 1, 5, 2 in order. So in that case, you can write down the continued fraction appearance as following 1, 1, 5, and 2. So please note that I f basically follow the same continued fraction by this order here. And um, let's try one more example to familiar yourself with uh, such a calculation. So next example, please look at the following here. We look at the fraction 67 over 24. And I believe you can tell me the first step. But please note that um, this fraction is somewhere between 2 and 3. Again, whenever it happens that the fraction is bigger than 1, you need to take out the integral part to get 2 plus 19 over 24 here. And again, this fraction is smaller than 1 now. You need to flip it whenever it is smaller than 1 to get 1 over 24 over 19 here. And I believe you know how to follow the next step. The next step should be this one. So now you decompose these parts because um, such a fraction is uh, bigger than 1 here. And again you need to flip it to get the next step. 
and again please look at this fraction right here it is uh, bigger than 3 less than 4 so we need to take out the integral part as the following this fraction we cannot finish here because the numerator is still not 1 and this fraction itself is less than 1 so we need to flip it now to get the following so now please look at the final bottom fraction it is bigger than 1 which means again you need to take out the integral part to get the following okay now the steps are all finished because now the final bottom right fraction has 1 as the numerator and now please look at the coefficients here and um, I believe you know how to write down the um, the final form of um, the continued fraction of the original fraction 67 over 24 as the following please note that it has the 2 as the integral part you need to single it out and the remaining things are the same as the, or the, your original calculation so it means that we have this one as the final answer here and um, basically that's the end of this video if you want to do more calculations please randomly pick any fraction and try to do the previous steps as I said here you should be able to arrive at um, some interesting continued fractions and in the next couple of videos I'll try to illustrate why it is related to another kind of um, mathematical calculations that are um, uh, pretty well known to, um, to everybody and please look at the uh, next couple of videos to check out the relations of it between um, from here to the other kind of topics and um, thank you everybody is the end Bye.